Hi guys, welcome to another video. Let's talk everything new. New styles, new shapes, new trends. What's coming? What's already out? What's new? What's fresh? Is anything fresh or is it all regurgitating other stuff? Let's talk Hermes, let's talk Chanel, let's talk Bottega, let's talk Louis Vuitton, let's talk Fendi, and maybe a couple of others. So let's get going. So while we're talking about new releases, what's coming next, new trends, looking forward, I just want to pause for one second and just reflect back. Today, I have hit 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it, honestly. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough for the support, for the, the just the love that you've shown me. It's unbelievable. I put myself out there all that time ago, about a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago. And I didn't expect anything. I just did it because I wanted to try. I wanted to put myself out of my comfort zone and just do something that I loved watching. And I thought, I want to do that. I'm going to give it a go. And honestly, the fact that I'm, we're now a year and a little bit ahead, we're 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> I can't, honestly. So for each and every one of you, Thank you so much for supporting me. This is still just the start. I am loving it. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, you know what to do. I just want to say, I just want to say one thing to my amazing friend Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet. Special mention, you know, you just know. So thank you, my love. Thank you. Anyway, on with the video. So while we're talking about reflecting back, we also need to look forward. New beginnings. I started this from, I came over from my career and I started this as a new beginning. So let's reflect on it by looking forward and looking at all the new bags and new releases that have either come out or coming out. And let's talk a little bit about the trends and what each designer seems to be doing. So yeah, I've got a few to talk about. We'll talk about Hermes, we'll talk about um, Louis Vuitton, obviously. <laughs> we'll talk about Fendi, we'll talk about Bottega, we might even talk about Louis V. So Hermes, there's not a lot of new things in Hermes. It tends to be the same, the Birkins, the Kellys, the Lindys, the Garden Party, the Evelyn. The, there are many, many bags in Hermes, but yeah, they don't have massive new innovations all the time, do they? But a new iteration of the Birkin is rumoured to be coming out, and it is the Birkin 20. Now this one up here is a 25 and it's it's small. It's not the tiniest bag. You can fit a lot in it, but to ha it's just handheld. You can only just get it just onto the wrist. You can't get it on the crook of your arm. So a 20 will be just a little, tiny little handheld bag. So what do we think? I found this photo. It's the only photo I can find, which was on Purse Blog, I think. I will put it down here where I found it but yeah I found this and yeah I can't I just think it looks tiny I just don't see the point yeah I just without a strap without a crossbody strap this isn't for me it I'm sure it will people will go crazy for it like they do the mini Kelly it's not for me so in Louis Vuitton there's always so many new releases you can't keep up every single time I go on the website, there's something new popping up, whether it's a new colour, a new leather, a new iteration of something that's gone. But are there many actual new styles of bags that come out? Well, yes and no. Some bypass me and I probably don't even notice that they're, they're, they're a new bag. But I think their, their biggest launch recently was obviously the Go 1-4 bag. So this is, but again, this is a re, <laughs> sort of a reiteration of a previous bag. I think they had the the Go 14. Was it called the Go 14? It was actually out before in 2014. I think that's where it got its name from. So this is a new iteration of it. And it is also reminiscent of the twist, isn't it, with the twist lock. So it's not fully innovative, but it's beautiful, but it's expensive. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not, I do love it. I'm going to see it when I go to London. I'm going to finally get my hands on it. I can't imagine buying it. It's too expensive. It really, really is. So 
yeah, I think that is the new release, really. The only one that would sort of be interested, interesting to me. I also do love this wine colour. Again, it's just a new colour. It's not a new style. All the bags that are in this collection are existing bags. So this is in the on prompt leather and I do love this colour. And again, I've talked about this before. In some photos, it looks very brown. In other, it looks very burgundy wine, red coloured, like dark red. And yeah, it needs to be more of a red, not a brown. I'm not a brown colour. So we'll see what that one looks like. But other than that, it's not masses of new, new things. There's, there's lots of things that I love, like the padded um, quilted Alma. But again, it's just it's just a reiteration of, a, of an existing bag. So, yeah, I think the last proper new, new bag that I can think of anywhere that interested me was the side trunk. That was so different and innovative. Anyway, that's Louboutin. So I'm going to class Fendi and Loewe in the same category when we're talking about this new bag. Because, yeah, what is this all about? This origami, this folding fold up tote bag business both of them seem to have gone to this origami actual style of bag now I think the Loewe one is called the fold and I think the Fendi one is is the origami so what what do I think well I think they're a little bit ordinary I don't think they're anything special I think the fact that you can actually um change the shape of the origami one in order to yeah pull it in make it a bigger tote make it smaller tote and it looks like you can close it up into sort of an x shape yeah it's yeah i don't know i don't know how practical it would be i don't i don't know if i like the look of it that much it doesn't scream anything to me so it's not one that i would be going for i am absolutely sure the loewe one is slightly different as in it just folds up so it'd be really good for travel i assume but to be fair, all my bags that are tote bags fold up really small. They never fold. You can really flatten it down. Um, if you bought a Goyard tote, all of those sort of things, they fold down anyway, don't they? Oh yeah, I'm not sure if this would just make it so pliable that it's actually just, just a very thin tote bag. And they're expensive. So until I see them in the flesh, I'm not going to say <laughs> never say never, but I don't think either of these are for me. I just, no, I just don't think so. Okay, we're going to talk about Chanel in a minute, so wait for that one. Because finally, sort of, there's a bag that I actually quite like from Chanel. Hurrah! Anyway, wait for that. Let's talk about Bottega. So, yeah, there's two new bags. One's been out a little while. One I've just seen on the website very, very recently. The first one from Bottega that has been out a little while now. I think it's called the Andy Armo. I think that's how you say it. I'll put it down here or down here, whichever way. I can never work out which way to, to tell you. Um, now, this is sort of more like a tote bag, like a top handle bag, but then it pulls in and it does have a longer strap. It looks really nice. It does. But is that the sort of bag I would go for in Bottega? No, I like the slouch. I do like the slouch. So... Um, I would discount the Andiamo, however you say it, and it is very expensive. As you all know, I am a fan of the Jody, but only in the bigger sizes, the big sloucher hobo sizes. Um, and I've been umming and ahhing, but there is a new bag that may, may rival this for us, or for me. So it's called the Hop Bag. Now this, it looks like it's slightly more structured on the, on the bottom, so the base, it has a proper base to it. And then it's slouchy at the top and it looks like it's just open. You throw it over your shoulder and it comes in just a small and a large at the moment. And there's only, I think there's only three colours. So I think they're just, yeah, dipping the toe in the water, testing whether this is going to be one to put into a bigger production, I assume. And whether new colours will come out or whether a medium size will come out, a smaller one, who, who knows? But looking at the measurements of this, the large is absolutely massive. It's massive. So it's like 50 odd centimetres, I think. Whereas the smaller one is still 40 odd centimetres. So the small one is big. So will this be the answer? Will that sit on your shoulder really nicely and still look like a sloucher hobo bag? But it's got at least some structure on the base. 
so you can actually put it down somewhere or your things aren't just in a black hole they'll still be in a black hole but there's a base to it at least and maybe that way you can put I don't know I don't know maybe you can find your things better I need to go and have a look at it so yeah I am definitely going to have a look at Bottega when we go to London but yeah I think there is a nice color in this like a pale color somebody in my comments actually told me about the Jodie and said it does slouch over time and actually the lighter colours, the more lighter colours that you go for, the more that you see the beautiful weave and I agree with that. I think that's why I'm drawn to the travertine colour because it is, it's still a muddy earthy colour which I like but it also, yeah, it sort of shows the weave of the pattern a little bit more. The black, it gets lost a little bit. Anyway, I'm definitely going to Bottega and I'm definitely going to have a look at the Jodie again. <laughs> Just buy the blinking bag. And then let's quickly talk about Chanel. Now, there isn't many things I like in Chanel and I'm not sure I would buy this one either because the price and it's still not caviar. However, I think this one could be a very cute little bag. So have a look at this one. This is just classed as the, I think it's like the Chanel shopping bag or something on their website. Everybody is calling it the Kelly, like the Kelly bag. Or is it the Kelly party bag? Now, I remember seeing on, um, I watched one of Maria Dragonova's uh, vlogs and she said, stop calling it the Kelly bag because it isn't. Kelly is Hermes. Actually, there was a Kelly bag from Chanel years and years ago. So have a look at this vintage one I found a picture of. They did have, they did have a, a, a bag called, called the Kelly and this is like a sort of new reiteration of that. It's a smaller version of it and a little bit more, yeah, they've enlarged the handles, have made it a little bit different but it is reminiscent of the old Kelly bag. Um, so what do I think of it? Well, I think with the chain, it does look very cute. I could see that as a really cute crossbody. Whether the handle sticking up would annoy me. We know what I'm like about handles. But these are at least fixed. They're not like half up, half down, flopping, annoying, jangling. But whether they would, I don't know. And I don't know the size of the bag. Are they, it looks tiny, but I think there's different sizes. I don't like Chanel lambskin. I love caviar. But I do think that this comes in a calfskin. So it will be more durable. So it won't be the pebbled leather of the caviar, but it might be more durable so I definitely want to go and have a look at it even just to rule it out but it is a new it's a new iteration that Chanel are coming out with so guys I think there's not a lot of innovation across any any of the any of the fashion houses everything is a regurgitation a reiteration a new interpretation of something that they've done before but how many new designs can any of them come up with you know everything is inspired from something from something in the past isn't it so I don't think it's a massive yeah time for innovation but yeah there's lots of different colors and textures and sizes and yeah reinterpretations so let me know in the comments below which of those do you love I might do another video because there's more than this but I think I just I just chose a handful because these are the ones that I've been interested in so let me know, guys, what you think. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another one.